But if we're going to win this race, we're going to have to fight for it. And what a fight in Minnesota. Incumbent Republican Norm Coleman and challenger Al Franken, yes, that Al Franken, are going at each other with everything they have. Norm Coleman, wrong on energy, wrong on college tuition, wrong on Iraq. Both sides' television commercials could only be described as attack ads. You are wrong, and you have to apologize, man. How shameless these people are. These people are so shameless. Coleman and Franken even ran a series of spots that looked almost identical, shot inside the iconic Midwest scene of a bowling alley. That's how he brought hockey back. He, um... Brought hockey back? He rubber-stamped George W. Bush's war in Iraq. He brought... 17 times. For Franken, the challenge has been reconnecting with Minnesotans, especially when he's often painted as an outsider from New York. That's why Franken has been stumping with his fourth grade teacher. He will work hard for us, I know. He has a lot of energy to burn up, and he'll burn it up on us. But the Democratic Party has also brought in the big guns in an attempt to knock out Norm Coleman. Al Franken was taking on the vast right-wing conspiracy before a lot of other people even admitted it existed. As for Senator Coleman, he's doing it the old-fashioned way, visiting 91 cities, holding smaller town hall meetings, and he admits the close race is exhausting. It certainly wears on the gut a little bit, and uh, it wears on the nerves. The biggest hurdle for Coleman is convincing angry voters that his vote for the economic bailout was the right one. It's a hard sell in many of these small towns. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac loaned out some five trillion dollars. Well, it's like to me, it just seems like they're sort of getting off scot-free. If they're scared and they're anxious and and uh, uh, they're angry, then. Uh, I'm not going to win this race, and i got to presume a lot of my colleagues won't either. But Franken's cell is also difficult, as he attempts to find a real connection with voters here. This election could come down to just a few votes. And I don't want to wake up on November 5th and wish I'd done just a little bit more. Rich Matthews, The Associated Press, Minneapolis.